Okay. Could you give us a quick introduction? Uh, well, I'm Tony Case. I'm the owner of the Dragon's Horn comic book gaming store here in Stone Mountain, Georgia. I'm also one of the founding members of Terminus Media, which is a local independent comic book publishing company. It also does uh, comics and animation. Okay. Uh, what inspired you to open up a comic book store? Well, actually, I've been uh, reading comic books and playing chess since I was about nine years old. And then just uh, over time, you know, I just, you know, found out that I really loved doing both of those things, playing strategy games and reading comic books. And it was actually a friend of mine, Tim, who actually wanted to have a comic book store. And I went, originally went in with him as uh, a silent partner in his comic book shop. Okay. Uh, what has been your experience with running a comic book store, and particularly in an urban community? Well, I actually put the shop here in this community on purpose because I felt that if I didn't do it, there wouldn't be one in the urban areas. It would be a situation where kids who wanted to come in and stuff and basically be smart wouldn't have a place where they could go and hang out and be smart in their own neighborhoods. Uh, okay. And what do you what what do you think what value do you think comics can have to members of the community? Well, it's most the main story that I hear from like most people is that comics are what got me reading. And these are guys who are all professionals, professors. You know, they started reading comic books as a way to get into reading, and that way to develop their love of reading. And then, like I said, in this world, you know, unless you can read, you know, you're in pretty bad shape. It's like right now, even when you have to apply for a job, you have to almost write like essays and be able to do comprehension tests just to get a job working at your fast food place. As a retailer, how important do you think it is to have comics? featuring African-American characters. I think it is very important to have comics with African-American characters. Uh, one of the things and stuff that I think that a lot of creators forget, though, is that even when you're doing comics with African-American characters, you still have to put out quality. It was like one of the things that when the Milestone came out, they had very good characters, very good stories, but a lot of people complained about the colors and that it was, you know, they didn't really like the watercolor colors. And these books, when they came out, were actually more expensive than your regular DC comics. So after a while and stuff, when people, you know, started having to cut back on their purchases, they started dropping the milestone books because they were actually more expensive than the regular DC comics. And the people felt that even though they were black characters, they weren't getting the quality that they were used to from other comics. How important are events like Free Comic Book Day? I think Free Comic Book Day are important because it helps expose a lot of people to comics. You know, and it, you know, a lot of the people who came here, especially earlier today, there was moms who brought their kids in. They didn't, you know, buy anything, but they came in and you know got the comics for their kids. And hopefully, the kids will actually go home and have a love and appreciation for the comics, and it'll help them motivate them to keep reading. Okay. And in closing, do you have any final thoughts that you'd like to give the readers? Hey, you know, comics are fun. You know, just keep doing it. And like I said, expose it to the next generation. Because let's be honest about it, a lot of these kids out here now can't read. And they got to have more to do than just play the video. Uh, thank you, and it's been a pleasure.